Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I show you how to do this 90s inspired Bella Hadid, Mary Kate and Ashley, Kendall Jenner, like Hilary Duff, spiky bun with a clip look. <laughs> so if you want to see how I got this, then please keep watching. In the calm fall air, and I think I'm changing back into someone I like to call myself. <sighs> Just filmed this makeup look. It is my makeup without foundation, so a lot of concealer and just little tips and tricks I do when I don't want to wear a foundation. And I realized I had a comment on one of my videos, the Bella Hadid Foxy Eyes tutorial, and somebody said, can you please show how to do that hair? So I do a lot of slicked up hair. I like it, I think my face is pretty narrow, so for me, my face looks better with it back. That's just personally, I love it, so I've kind of mastered my own way of doing it. I don't know if it's the same way that these people I'm going to show you do it, but it has definitely worked for me and I feel like the true test is when you wear it like that in person and people ask you about it and people often ask me how I get my baby hairs down because I have a lot of them um, and keep in mind that my hair is dirty right now. So number one tip, dirty hair. When it's clean you're just going to put in all this crap and make it dirty anyway. So yeah, you can do it clean, but it's just a hundred times easier if it's already dirty. My hair is really straight as well. So also keep that in mind. I also like this with curly hair when it's all pulled back and you have like, even if it's short and it's curly or whatever, like it does work. It does not have to look like mine. Um, just keep that in mind. I mean, I love the way Bella Hadid slicks her hair back and Kendall Jenner and there's tons of models and runway looks that I love with hair slicked back. I will try to insert them now for inspiration. So I'm going to do a take on the exact hair I did in the Bella Hadid video. Um, I'm going to change a little bit because I, I liked the way I did it and it looked dope that day, but I think that I even have a better way to do it now. So, um, let's get started. You're going to need, non-negotiable, you're going to need gel. I either have this, like it was $2.29. I got it at the hair store that's like down the street. I live right outside Philly, so there's hair stores everywhere and this is fine. I think I ordered this. Oh no, I got this at like CVS. This is Gorilla Snot, really attractive name. This works amazing, but all of these gels, like once you take your hair down, I mean, I had a little bit in yesterday. Once you take it down, it just kind of looks crazy. These are so cool. They're back. My sister used to wear these like every day. I mean, and I had a million too, but um, so I'm going to be using this. You're going to need hair ties, just like classic hair ties. And if you have one of these bungees, that might make your life a little easier. Uh, these are great. They're called hair bungees. And you will probably need some bobby pins. We don't always need them depending on how good we can get our hair to stay. And you're going to need a smoothing brush. This is a cheap one from Conair, but if you go on Amazon and type in smoothing brush, there's like a million different types. Um, I use mine a little off center just because, I don't know, like with the way my cowlick is set up, like this just works better for me. So do what you gotta do. If you can get directly center, girl, good for you. I'm gonna just fix it with this bobby pin. Okay. And honestly, it does not have to be perfect. Most of the pictures that I see that I have inspo from, like it's not done perfectly. It's kind of like the 90s inspo of it all. It's like, it doesn't have to be perfect. So from here, I'm going to take like whatever gel is next to me. And right now it is the Eco Styling Gel. I'm just gonna start putting it into my part. I really like this one actually. And it has like a, a shimmer in it, so it even makes my hair kind of like shiny. So if you get a gel with some shimmer, um, it's a nice look. So I just start putting it into my hair here. Now depending on how much baby hair you have, how curly your hair is, um, it helps if you wet, wet, like wet your brush a little bit and brush through it. I tend to wet my brush a lot too if I already had this done the day before. That's like the best trick, wetting this brush and then smoothing it out. So I just start to shape the front myself. You can also use like a clean toothbrush, like a toothbrush you've never used in your mouth. Um, no judgment though, I mean, do you? 
and you can get like if you have a lot of baby hair here that is what I'll do here and I just keep brushing in the direction I want it to go so for this hairstyle I want it to go back but I don't want it to be as high as I normally do it I normally do it like up here but for this I'm going to comb my hair in that direction and then I'm gonna pin it or I'm gonna tie it a little bit lower I'm gonna show you why so I just keep applying the gel and smoothing it out with my brush. This will make actually ponytailing it a lot easier. I feel like when I get my hair done on set a lot and they want to do a ponytail, it it drives me insane. It's like similar to when some makeup artists can't cover acne. I'm like, I just, just give me the brush. Give me it, I will do it. Like, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> I sound like such a hater. And also, okay. So let's say you did this gel like this and you were just slick down like this. A low pony with this middle part is also chic fire with like big hoops. Come on. That's so cute. And you can even bun it really low down here, like twist it around, leave some hair out. How cute is that? We're not doing that today, but it's the same kind of like starting process. Okay. Now. This is when you're gonna really work out your forearms and your biceps doing this next part. So you're gonna grab your, actually I'm going to try to use this bungee. So if you don't have a bungee, this is when you would put your hair ties on your wrist. But since I'm gonna try this, I don't usually use this, but it's supposed to be better, so I'm gonna try it. Um, I'm not gonna put that on my wrist. I'm just gonna grab my hair with my hands and I'm going to start to brush this straight back like on an angle do you see the difference in the sides now so this hair is going straight back but still keeping the middle part and you know what's cute actually and Bella does this a lot she will sometimes bring down like one hair like very 90s style and I it doesn't even bother me if it's already been gelled because it literally looks like, it looks like it's always gelled. Like it's not supposed to look like loose, pretty ethereal. It's supposed to look 90s. So if you want to leave a piece of hair out right in the front, that's kind of dope. I'm into that. Maybe I'll do just one. It's very like 90s. I have to keep reminding myself that I'm not going to put it all the way up here. So. Remember like wherever on your head that you want it to be at the end, that's where you're holding it in the back. So if you want it to be lower, you should be holding it lower. If you want it to be up here, it should already be up there. So I'm gonna lower the hair, but I'm gonna keep combing this up and back and getting the underneath. It's the one good thing about doing it a little lower. The underneath is a million times easier. Okay, I'm sorry that you guys can't see the back. Um, sorry. And also, sorry about the amount of armpit in these uh, hair videos. It's just literally like, what am I supposed to do? Like, you gotta lift your arms up. Oh, I'm going into the gel, and I'm just adding more as I go. And as you go and you add it, it's like all over your hands, but that's fine, because then it gets into your ponytail from like going like this, which in turn smooths it out. So it all kind of works for you in this process. Okay, today it's behaving very well because again, I did something similar yesterday and there was already some gel in my hair. It's already a little greasy and a little dirty. It's like it makes your dirty hair days so much more fun to look forward to because you're like, oh my God, I can't wait till my hair's dirty so I can be slick. <laughs> okay, this is like pretty much how I want it. Oh, it looks dope today. Hello. Now I'm gonna take my bungee. This is the moment of truth, because if I fuck up this bungee, or if I screw up this bungee, we done. So you just hook this into your hair and then wrap it around and hook the other side. I like really tight hair. So let's see. I think it's like the dancer in me. I think any dancer can relate. Once you're used to having crazy tight buns, you like can't go back. Hmm. Oh shit. 
Bungie's where it's at, y'all. It's a lot easier than I was making it out to be. It literally just wraps around. I will say, for me, personally, it's not tight enough. So I am going to go in. I only have this color on me um, and these, but I like the, like, scunzy slash Conair hair ties that don't have the uh, metal on them. And they have to be thick. And I have to use two. That's just... That's just what I do. However thick your hair is, you do you. I'm also going to add those because the bungee got it in place. Yo, the bungee's major key, actually, because the bungee got it in place without moving my smoothing. If you watch my Kendall video, I didn't have a bungee on me, and it was really difficult. I had to keep putting it in and taking it out, which is what I normally do. But, oh my god, that was one time, and... All of my smoothing stayed intact. We are good to go here. So now with this base, I can pretty much do anything. Like I can bun it down there. What I'm going to do for this particular video is uh, more of like, it kind of, it's like a 90s, I don't know, like Hilary Duff, uh, Mary-Kate and Ashley kind of a vibe and I'm with it. So cause my hair is long. Now if your hair is short, you could probably just flip it up and clip it. And it would be like that short and so cute. But since it's super long... Okay, I just put this clip here because it was getting annoying. And I put a scrunchie in the hair for this particular look. Now you could do this a million different ways. Um, this is just the way I'm going to do it this time. I decided to use this cuter, smaller little clip for what I want to do with this. So, I'm going to turn around and show you. You're going to twist your hair and because you already put the gel throughout the hair it should be in this ponytail as well and it should give it a little bit of grit you're gonna twist it wrap it around my hair's long keep that in mind too now when you're here I'm gonna use a pretty big bobby pin just to pin down this bun part right and like keep it in the bun so it's not popping out. Now I'm going to take this little clip and clip these hairs so they're like spiking upwards. I did it. Okay. That is hard to do without looking. <laughs> At this moment, I'm going to take this spray. Spray any hairs that came loose. The bun can be like a little bit not perfect. I don't think it needs to be. I think it's kind of cute when it's a little bit messy. Now I'm going to take this out. Okay, for these little spiky pieces, I take hairspray. I spray them and then just play around with where they are. I'll use my smoothing brush, maybe tease them a little. I have kind of thick hair and sometimes these can look like crazy on me. So I have to play with them for a minute. Just look at it like you're molding your hair. I kind of like when they go more to the side instead of straight up. Um, there are some photos I see with them on Bella straight up and other models, but I kind of like them for me to the side. The final trick I will do if I'm trying to be like extra and really make my hair look perfect is I take the L'Oreal Paris Magic Root Cover Up. This stuff is incredible. I don't even know why I got this because I don't have roots because they don't color my hair. But this is in color, so it's medium brown. It has a little like nozzle on it, like a little straight nozzle. And I just go anywhere that looks like I'm missing hair and I just spray this in. You literally don't even have to be perfect about it. Are you seeing this? So this is where it's like gets annoying over here on this side. Like, are you kidding? Are you guys seeing that? It instantly, so let's say you wanted to put it in there. It's not bothering me, but if you wanted to do that, you could fill that. If you have too big of a part because you have thinner hair, you can make your part look more full. It is incredible. So this is the first. This is the look I decided to go for today. It's very similar to the bun I did in the Bella Hadid Foxy Eyes video. Um, I, again, I always do it a little different, but essentially it's the same steps. I slick my hair back. I use these products. I usually have a bobby pin. Apparently the bungee is the new wave. Hairspray, root touch-up, you know, and just molding your hair in the back. I happen to have a lot of hair to work with. Actually, if your hair is shorter, it might benefit you. This is my fake ponytail I use when my hair is shorter. <laughs> so let's say your hair is only like this short when it's up in the pony. You can literally go like this on the back of your head and just clip it up. 
Do you see what I'm saying? And that's how much hair should be out. Because my hair, I don't know if this makes any sense. Because my hair is like this long, I wrap it around and then clip it up. Do you see what I'm saying? To make it shorter. So depending on your length, um, I actually think shorter would probably be better for this particular style. If you don't like the spikies coming out, just wrap it all the way around and pin it with bobby pins or wrap it all the way around, clip it, and then pin these down um, and use your hairspray. If you don't have long hair and you want to keep this in pony, then get one of these. This was honestly 20 bucks and I got this at the hair store too. Look at this, guys. It has a clip right here. You clip it in the top of your pony. These are Velcro. You Velcro it around and then twist this fake hair around it and just bobby pin it in, insta pony. And this was like 10 times longer, I cut it. Okay guys, that's it for my Bella Hadid model 90s inspired hair tutorial. I hope that you learned something in this or that it helped you. Please let me know if there's anything else you wanna see with it or if you have any other questions. I always answer right away on my comments, so please let me know. And I'm so glad you decided to watch and join me today. And please like and subscribe if you like this content so I can know and make more of it. Thanks guys.